Scoreless here from Baker's Life Fieldhouse. Game number two of a five-game basketball day in Indiana, which has coverage on Georgia Street, Brian Hammonds. Our next game, Kristen Airy and Quinn Buckner will take over as this defense from LaPel continuing to force turnovers. That's already turnover number three for the Trojans. And in transition, it's Will Jones up and under and the first basket for LaPel. Very nice there. You know, the very, very solid defensively, get out on the break. Guy gets an opportunity to attack the basket, gets a nice lay-in. Mason Gillis had over 11 points per game. He got his pack pass knocked away by Austin Lyons. A lot of deflections already early for LaPel, but a first or a second look here at Will Jones going up and under for the basket. An athletic move from the 5'11 senior. Hey, deflections is a stat that doesn't really get into a, a typical box score. But I guarantee you, on every staff, there's someone charting those deflections to chart your activity. Give yourself an opportunity there. Luke Bumbleo into traffic. No, and the rebound goes out to LaPel's Preston Scott. The Bulldogs doing a nice job on the glass here early on. It's been one and done for the Trojans as Austin Lyons weaves his way in for the basket. Great move by Lyons there. New Newcastle's up trying to pressure the ball a little bit. You attack pressure with pressure. This is David Froge, the leading scorer for Newcastle at over 14 points per game and a feed to Titan Bennett. Bennett, a senior at six foot seven, a mismatch problem for LaPel there. Very nice pick and roll there. Good find on the roll. Richardson on the post. He turns around on the baseline. That's Luke Richardson, brother of John Ross. He's just a sophomore, but a nice-looking shot from the baseline. And LaPel out to an early lead here from the field house. As Gillis on the shot fake evades the defender and flips it in. Great strong move there. Y you mentioned it, the shot fake, another one that's very underestimated and not uh, utilized as much as you can there. That nice shot fake, gets the defense out of stance and goes and scores. Right back into the post to Richardson and Bennett over the back commits the foul. That's Luke Richardson for LaPel. Head coach Jimmy Howell of the Bulldogs has done this for 36 years, is as tenured as nearly anyone in this state. Winning a state title last year. There's John Ross Richardson on the drive. Great strong move there. Gets to the middle of the floor. Able to use the left hand on the other side of the rim. Mason Gillis, an impressive looking sophomore. That's out for Titan Bennett. He can't hit that shot. The offensive rebound to Froge. Williamson on a pull up. There's that shot fake again. Shot fake. Escape dribble. Gets a nice elbow jumper there. John Ross Richardson controlling it. You'll see most possessions go through him. He averages 20 a game. Two here early for LaPel. Looks like Newcastle's dropped into a 3-2 here. Five, six, Jones into traffic. Gillis got the block for Newcastle. And Jones reaches in after the block. Three thirty-eight left in the first quarter of play. John Ross Richardson, a pretty take to the basket. His lapel Bulldogs up by two on Fox Sports Indiana. Both teams have come out and shot the ball well. Downtown Indianapolis inside Bankers Life Fieldhouse. The Bulldogs at 57%. Newcastle Trojans at 50. A look inside Newcastle's Fieldhouse. It opened back in 1959. It's the largest high school gym in America. Eddie, there's no replicating Bankers Life Fieldhouse, but that's not far from it, at least from a high school perspective. No question about it. Eddie. To be able to get an opportunity to play in that uh, type of arena, night in and night out for your home games anyway. That's that's great for a high school program, and obviously there's there's great history there, great history in the state of Indiana altogether. All but, um, you know, great opportunity for the, the kids to come out and play here today, and, you know, it's really close to what they're doing. Mason Gillis a pull up no, and John Ross Richardson has it for LaPel. Richardson is headed to D2 Rollins College. He signed a letter of intent there on Thursday. That's his brother, Luke. And the rebound off to Newcastle, who trails by two. And in transition, the Bulldogs want to run a give and go. And it's Williamson who couldn't finish underneath. He'd love to have that one back. That was great offense, great pass ahead, great cut. All you need is the layup. Lapel trying to slow things down, work their set offense. Richardson open for three. John Ross 0 for 2 from distance here early on. He averages 20 a game. 
Austin Lyons off the mark. Tees up an NBA three there. May have been confused with the line, but I think he's stepping into it with confidence, and that's a great thing to see. Yeah, a couple lines here this afternoon. There's another one shot, there. Shot from Froge is blocked, and Richardson beating everybody back behind the back. And Williamson got a piece and knocked it off of Richardson. Out of bounds to Newcastle. Great hustle by Williamson getting back into the play. Instead of just giving up the layup, he's back in there and gets a great hand on it. And you see Williamson coming in from behind. He spotted that ball as Richardson tried to go behind his back to evade a defender. Bumbleo off the dribble. His pull-up shot, no. And Gillis there underneath, left it short. Gillis another try, and that one goes. So Mason Gillis, he's an impressive-looking sophomore, Eddie. Uh, no question about it. His body is, is ready right now. He's, he has great activity down there. He took on the entire lapel defense down there and got three or two re, uh, consecutive offensive rebounds. At six foot six, Gillis averages nearly a double double. Levi Frazier has checked in. He dishes back up top. Austin Lions, Newcastle running this zone. Yeah, this is somewhat of a, a matchup zone here. They're doing a really good job getting out to those shooters. And LaPelle in no hurry in their offense. If they don't have a good shot, they're not afraid to hold it for a minute or longer. John Ross Richardson usually finds one, and he does there. There it is. You, you hit the nail on the head. Showing great discipline there. Not coming out rushing any long threes or, or any out of control takes to the basket. Moving the ball around, and John Ross makes a great move for a pull-up jumper. The Bulldogs shooting 46%. The Trojans are 4 for 12. Here's Williamson and rattles out, but Bennett there with the follow. And a traveling on LaPelle. LaPelle's going to have to keep Gillis and, and Bennett off of the glass here in, in early in the game. It looks like they're, they're trying to make a mark in the game. And we get a look back at that putback. What makes Bennett and Gillis so tough, Eddie, is they're big, they're strong, but they can play around the perimeter. They're not just stationary bigs down there in the post. You're, you're exactly right. They're very mobile out there, whether it's in the post or, and definitely, like you said, on the perimeter, they're able to make a play. Gillis draws a double team and shuffled his feet back to LaPelle. That's the fourth turnover for Newcastle here, still first quarter. LaPelle has turned it over three times. Gills makes himself available down there on the post. Immediately, tr immediate trap comes. I'd like to say, make a quick decision in terms of being able to kick that out to a shooter. We saw the rebounding advantage in game number one of Carmel and Center Grove play such a big role. Carmel doubled up Center Grove in the rebounding category, and Newcastle has the advantage in height here in this one. It'll be something to watch as Richardson tees up a three. He's 0 for 3 from out there, but Brother has his back. Oh, that's just a good pass to his brother right there. He knew his brother was on the other side there, <laughs> taking care of him. Under 40 seconds to play and in high school ball. We watch how teams handle these situations with no shot clock. It's Gillis attacking. Gillis is a load down there. His, his, his big counterpart there, Bennett, makes a great entry pass. They're going to have to find a way to stop Gillis down there. It looks like he's having his waist early on here. LaPelle has led by as many as four points. Newcastle. Has yet to lead. It's been a competitive first quarter here as LaPelle pay plays for the last shot. Will Jones. Here's Austin Lyons. And a long two coming from Caleb Bloom. He brings it as the first quarter clock expires. That's a great pass there. Comes off the pick and roll there. Nice elbow jump shot. To a competitive first quarter of play. LaPelle's Caleb Bloom checks in and gives the Bulldogs the lead after one on Fox Sports Indiana.